Hello, and welcome everyone once again to Outdoor Analytics, bringing the science behind the hunt. My name is Adam Kilgore, and today I'm going to do a video that is in um, line with a series of videos that I've been doing comparing two of the very best gear companies out there. Those two companies are Sitka and First Light. Now, while there are many, many companies that offer great gear out there, I feel these two companies offer the widest um, variety of gear to suit the, the most needs of the hunter. What I mean by that is this, from the tree stand to the mountain, um, bear hunting up in Canada, hunting hogs down south, wherever you may go, I feel that Sitka and First Light offer the, um, the most variety in their choices and still at, set the bar at a very, very high level. So today, and continuing with the other videos I've done in this series, I'm going to compare uh, two pants, which is pretty much the baseline of everything you're going to wear out west, two pants for early season western wear. Now these two pants are the Sitka Ascent in the Subalpine and the First Light Corgit Guide Pants in their Fusion Camo. So here in just a second I'm going to flip this camera around, I'm going to zero, zoom in on these two pants and we'll cover the specifics for each. But um, a caveat I want to say, or a disclaimer I guess I want to say before these, before I do that is this. I'm trying to give you the best information I can. Uh, I will try to be as honest as possible and spell out the, the uh, pluses and minuses to both, both companies and both pants. But my body type will not be your body type, will not be your best friend's body type. So if at all possible, get in there and try to try on all this different gear. It's the only way to really know what fits you the best. Uh, I know that's sometimes hard, especially with uh, expensive top end gear. So reviews like this, I'm hoping um, help you out to make those educated choices and narrow down the selection uh, of what you're looking for in a specific product. So here we go, I'm gonna flip this camera around and we'll get, uh, we'll get in on the specifics of these two things. So here we go, I flipped the camera around and uh, zoomed in on the two pants that we're going to do the review on. The Corgit Guide Pant and the Ascent from Sitka. Now everybody knows that, Sit that Sitka has been making very high quality pants for a long time for the hunter and now First Light has for several years as well. In the more recent past, past the big um, hurdle to get over for all companies who's looking for a way to make a very tough nylon or nylon type fabric pant based on rock climbing or mountaineering pants that could take a good print um, and still be comfortable and wear well and do um, all the benefits and have all the benefits of a hunting pant. Uh, not just being nylon but taking a, an antimicrobial um, coating is or something sewn into the fabric is usually a, a big um, selling point to these pants and um, they want something lightweight but based on those on those uh, rock climbing mountaineering designs but a, hunt, a hunter specific pant. Now about three or four years ago now is when uh, First Light kind of cracked that code and they made they came out with the Korg guide pant which was uh, in addition to the wool pant they make. This pant is lighter weight and um, very, very, very tough. It's, based, it's a nylon based pant. So it has that nylon, that tough nylon fabric, but it's camel printed. And once they did that, kind of the floodgates open. Now there's a lot of companies producing very similar pants. This last year, Sitka came out with a even lighter weight pant, um, but has a lot of that same technology built into it. And this is the Sitka's lightest weight pant, the Ascent pant. This is First Light's lightest weight pant, the Corgit Guide pant. We'll start with the, uh, the Guide pant and go over some of the features here. Like I said before, it is a nylon based pant, very, very tough. Um, and at the same time, it has quite a bit of stretch in this pant. So I can show you there's, there's quite a bit of stretch built into this pant, um, into the back waistline here. I can see this, you can see there's elastic bait back there. So quite a bit of, of uh, stretch into this pant. The pant tapers down at the leg on both these pants, but specifically 
the core get, it tapers down at the leg so that you don't have a lot of extra material so you're not swishing around as you walk. Um, and there's a good pocket layout. So you have these, uh, these, these hip pockets here that you can see. And you also underneath there have a zippered pocket underneath this. So you have kind of a double hip, uh, a double thigh pocket. Again, the, the pattern, I really like the fusion pattern. Um, that's my favorite pattern overall for all. If you had one pattern to pick for everywhere from the woods um, to the mountain to everywhere, that would be this, this pattern. I like how there is no sharp lines. There is no, uh, no sharp contrast that blends well and it doesn't blob out at a distance. But more importantly is the fit and wear of these pants. Now these pants are extremely tough. I've taken them on some pretty good hunts and I have yet to snag or rip or tear them and I was sure I would. They are very, very comfortable. They articulate exceptionally well, meaning they can um, move in them and just, they almost feel like a, a sweat pant, an extremely tough sweat pant, although much, much lighter. I really, really like that. Now, one of the double-edged swords is this elastic in the back of the pant. If I can show it there. So that elastic is nice because it means what it, it, versatility in the sizing and also means it's more um, layer friendly. I can layer up underneath it if need be and, um, and it'll stretch with that, which isn't a huge issue in these early, early season hunts, but it can be, so it's, it's versatile. The downside to any elastic or stretch in a pant is this all pants will expand or stretch if you're wearing them for day after day after day, which is kind of the, the, the um, benchmark of what these pants need to do. They need to be able to be worn on backcountry hunts for a long time. All pants will start to expand after a while just because you're wearing them constantly and you're, you're moving in them constantly. And then when you wash them, they'll probably, they'll probably go back down, shrink back down. But for the time being, they'll all stretch. If you have a pant that has built in stretch on top of that, they're going to stretch even more. So then they become, it's that question of does it become too loose, does it not? I have not found that to be the case, but others have, quite a few others have, um, and they do not like the feel of that. Uh, initially they do, but, but wearing in on those, you know, day two, day three, day four of a hunt, they do not like that. There is no knee pads on these pants. Um, they are extremely flexible, but there's no knee pads on these pants. They are um, lightweight material. They are a little bit heavier than the Ascent, than, than the uh, Ascent from Sitka, but they are um, a little lighter weight. Or they're, they're a little heavier, but they are still very, very lightweight pants, excuse me. They have both, a, uh, both the ability to have a belt and a set of suspenders. I've tried, I've worn these with both. I initially really liked the suspenders because it allowed me to wear a pack uh, and not have a double belt, so not the belt around the, the pants and a belt around the pack, the hip belt. But what I found is when your pack gets heavier, no matter how well designed the pack is and where it's supposed to hit, it should never hit where the um, suspenders connect. So it should never hit where the, the metal of the suspenders or the plastic polymer come up underneath there. The pack should ride higher than that when the rubber hits the road and you have a load in your pack and you're moving around, it did to me, to my body type at least, it hit it, um, on the, where those suspenders did. And I did not like that. So I went back to a belt. Um, that's something you're just gonna have to try your body type, what kind of pack you wear, what's the most you're gonna have in it. But um, for me, I thought it would be a big benefit and it turned out that I did not like the suspenders. So I went back to running a belt on this. Overall, a very, very high quality pant. Um, I prefer these to their all wool pant, the Obsidian. I really like the guide pant. I've tried them both, I've worn them both. And if it's an earlier season pant, I'm wearing these um, in the first light. They are very, very high quality, very good pant. Now over to, on to the Sitka Ascent pant. This is a new product for 2018, or 17, excuse me, was offered. Uh, and I had a chance to try these out on a couple hunts. They are a, uh, a very high quality pant as well. They are lighter weight than the 
uh, guide pant, but they are cut very similar. They have a very tapered leg to them. They have zippered um, hip, or is it the thigh or hip pockets here? But they don't run the double pockets, and that's to keep the weight down because these are these are designed uh, to be the, even lighter than the guide pants. They're the, the lightest pant they have. On the waistband, there is no elastic built into these. There's a little stretch, a little bit, not a lot, but that is by design. Um, again, I, I talked about a minute ago about the double-edged sword that's that's elastic in the waistband. Um, I didn't find these, initially these did not feel as comfortable as the guide pant when I put them on. After a few days, I could see the wear, definitely the benefit of not having that elastic uh, built in if you're wearing these 24 seven comes into play. For my style of hunting, I don't spend more than ever, more than two or three days without taking these pants off either set. I usually don't, I, I've hunted overnight in the back country, but it's been a day or two at the most and I even have a, a I'm close enough to a base camp or a truck or by some means that I can switch my uh, switch into a pair of shorts or another pair of pants and so I don't they might not be washed for a week or so or two but I won't have them on constantly so I still prefer the elastic in this for comfort and the awkward angles and the creeping and the um, stepping over stuff and under stuff and crawling and I do this particular um, waistband, but it's not uncomfortable by any by any means. It's a very very um, comfortable pant, thick, fairly thick waist uh, here that stands up well. That has a good um, a good thick tall um, uh, area to put a belt or to run a belt on it. So there's not an option for the uh, built in for suspenders that I mean you can always go around the back here but there's not a built-in option for suspenders so it's meant to be worn either without a belt or or a belt but no suspenders it tapers much like the guide pant does in, in the leg uh, very quiet they're both quiet they're both a very very similar face material if anything I'd say the ascent pant is a little harder if harsher material harder material if that's a proper term for it. It's not as quite as comfortable or as soft to the touch, but I think it's a, maybe a little tougher material, and so that's your trade-off there. It doesn't have these double pockets, but it is lighter weight. Um, so there you go again on what do you specifically want in a pant. What comes to mind when I look at these two pants or when I wear these two pants and try them on is elk pant antelope pant. That's what just feels um, to me is this is the lightest weight that you can possibly get. This is ever so slightly heavier but a little more comfortable maybe a little more uh, overall or more versatile overall or or can wear in more variety. This seems to me a very very loose pant but they're both awesome and a lot of guys wear this well into um, arch well into all through archery season. Both these products, uh, both these pants are of, are to me the best pants you can buy uh, from these two companies for early season. I've worn these, I've, uh, I've done the, all of the Kuyus, I mean all of their pants. I have uh, Outdoor Research makes a very solid, um, similar mountaineering pants and some of the other companies out there make a, make a solid rock climbing slash mountaineering type pant that can easily be worn for hunting. But specifically from these two companies, these are my two favorite pants for the early season. They're, uh, they're very similar in what they do. Um, you know, it's kind of what one fits your body better. Like I said before, the, the, uh, the guide pant fits my particular body better. And out of the two, it is my choice. Um, but they're both extremely high quality pants and I think they'll both last you for years and years to come. So, um, I think they'll both last for a long time. I think, um, you know, I think this is a good, 
these are two, two really good competitors from two really good companies, and that uh, you know this really comes down to personal choice. Some of the others I listed some of the features I like better in one company or the other, but but for this product for the pants, I think it's it's purely personal choice. So there you go once again. Um, I'm going to end this review here. It's kind of been a long one, but I hope that I covered in depth more of the uh, more of the details of this product. If there's any questions, please uh, list some comments or questions down below, and I'll get back to you. And um, hopefully, this uh, this maybe helps you narrow down your selection. So, have a good hunt, have a great fall, and uh, look for some more product uh, reviews coming in the future. Thanks.